Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode two of season three of my Alpha 17, Seven Days to Die. Let's play. We're on build 231 and it's brutal. <laughs> it's just horrible. Um, yeah, it seems like they did some changes and I've been just fighting off starvation and uh, thirst you can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I I literally spent the night huddled in that shack and I went through and there were a couple of brick piles in the garage. I snuck up there and harvested those so I could get some rocks. Um, <clears throat> the wood pot, the little, uh, it looks like pallets, small pallets, um, they didn't get very much wood, maybe one or two. So, uh, I, you know, I killed a couple of them and I was like, uh, it's not really worth it. Uh, but the little brick piles gave you, I don't know, 20 or so stone. And I was really low on stone, so it helped. I was able to uh, make some more arrows. Uh, and I still have a, like 50 stone. But right now we're like, almost 40 down on our hunger <clears throat> and we got these sham sandwiches <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of them and immediately drink a goldenrod tea uh, because there's a hundred percent chance of food poisoning so I don't suggest you do this unless you have goldenrod tea ready and I might even want to um, make an extra one I made, uh, I had four empty bottles, so I went down to the water and made those. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make up one more golden rod tea. I know it's wasting, it's wasting wood, but I really want that tea. Um, I got some stuff. I want to go to the trader and buy that cobblestone rocks. Uh, and we got this uh, Hammer and Forge magazine, although I think this is going to be extremely useful now with the perk changes. Um, I really, I really need that because it's so hard to do anything at this moment. Uh, any any help and gathering materials is going to greatly increase my chance of survival. I mean, look at that. I'm at 50% water. <laughs> I just started the day. It's not boating well. So we're going to eat a sham sandwich. We're going to get our food poisoning. And then we're going to drink this and hope that it goes away. There we go. Um, we're low on water, too. <clears throat> well, it looks like it's not food poisoning yet. Oh, man. I'm glad I made that second one. So it might not immediately turn into food poisoning. So we're going to leave all this stuff here. We're going to sell these guys. Uh -huh. And there, whoo, our illness went away. Yay. Um, let's go ahead and leave that stuff here. We're going to use another water. And then we'll leave that there too. That way if we see anything... Oh, we might as well leave this there. We do have a little bit of ammo, and I have that pistol. So we're going to keep the rest of this stuff. Um, so yeah, the trader should be open now. So let's go, let's go buy that cobblestone rock. Um, ooh, yeah, we're going to definitely need to search every bird's nest. Um, I'm hoping we'll see some animals... All we saw yesterday was a freaking rabbit that uh, got killed on the trader's um, barbed wire fence. 
so yeah, not a whole lot. We only got nine meat, and luckily we got that. Oh, look, trash. Garbage. Oh, can you sell these? Oh, you can. I'm going to keep it because we're going to the freighter. You can sell it for one. It's one more than what I had. Um, I believe we went and checked out that broken house right there. You know, if we see any more of those. Spooky. Spooky. Did we get the garbage? We did not get the garbage. <gasps> this is why you check the garbage. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so spooky. Um, we might want to hit the place up for some more fast cloth. So, I mean, it's really easy. Uh, that's two per hit, and it's, um, it's a lot of cloth. Um, uh, this will help uh, when we're going to make uh, some cloth armor because we're probably going to need it. Um, it's so hard to get. Yeah, this should do it. Let's get, get on to the trader now. Um, these things like this, you can hit these and um, occasionally you might get an electrical component. Uh, of course, I say that, and uh, that one doesn't. Oh, look, see, we got 52 cloth. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, this sounds different, like it's not gonna give us anything. Huh. Well, all we're doing is wasting our stamina breaking those. So, the ones in the house gave me some electronic parts. I was tempted to bring them and sell them because they sell for like 12 each. Or what I was looking at was 12. Uh, I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure we checked these garbages. Um, I may need to turn like the sun shafts off. I'm not getting the best frame rates. So let's check. It's yes. No. That didn't really change. I'm a survivor. Give me all your stuff and your money. I'm a survivor. Give me what you got or I'm coming for you. Uh, so this is going to be really useful for us. He's got a working workbench and I think a chemistry set too. But the cement mixer and the forge are broken. So that's unfortunate. They got some really cheap 
do they have like an extra pay? Oh, look at that. We might need to come get some of this raw meat. <clears throat> That's for two coins each. Heck yeah, we just haven't seen any animals. Which is weird. Usually they're like crawling all over the place. Alright. Joel. Let me see what you got. We're going to sell you. Will you buy my glass pane, please? I don't want to sell my cloth, but I will sell this brass for 24. And I'm going to sell this beer because it sells for 20. <laughs> yeah, sold 60 brass for 24. And I can sell one beer for 20. Priorities. That's what it's important. <laughs> so <laughs> it's twenty for a hundred, and there's seven hundred. So we need oh math fourteen hundred and forty. Uh, that's just enough. We got five left. That is a crap ton of concrete. And if I had the money, I would totally buy that. The concrete and the cement. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, oh, dude. I'm tempted to sell this so we can go buy some of that meat. Because uh, even though that's tier one, that's for... That's for us converting something to a semi-automatic I don't think it's extremely useful <laughs> and I mean look at that duct tape is five are you serious do they have duct tape here I bet they don't sell it for five what about glue I'm going to sell it because to me right now, the meat is more important. The meat. Pleasure doing business uh -huh. with you. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, I'm so glad I looked on that second page. Now, they have more meat than we can buy. Because that's 144, so we can only buy like 52. Um, let's buy 51. There we go, we got three, three dupes left. But, uh, that gave us a lot of food. And a lot of stuff to build with. Um... Yeah, I'm feeling like this is really laggy. Uh, maybe we'll hit up uh, this camp again and get a few more. Actually, we, we got the two duct tape we looted. Um, and usually once you make your, your armor, you have like the, the leg armor and the chest armor left over. So we might go ahead and make that because I believe that only takes like one duct tape each. Yeah. Um, and since we're we're in a temperate biome, it's not a cold biome. It's not a hot biome. So I think uh, we'll probably, if we get more duct tape, replace our gloves and our boots with the padded because those give you a little bit of protection but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna craft the chest armor and the leg armor because we can and that'll give us more protection uh, another thing we need to do today is we need to test um to see if we can bandage our wounds to uh recover our max stamina because that was an issue in my last game, one of the main reasons why I went ahead and started over, if it didn't seem to have a big compatibility issue, I would have just 
you know, stayed in my other game, but uh, didn't want to pl keep playing it, wondering if the cause of that um, bug was, oh, nerds, uh, was because I was still in the previous version, so. Ah, I'm losing the cloth. So I think that should be a good good amount of cloth for a little while. Yeah, and we get a little bit of armor. Which is good. Uh, we need all the help we can get. Oh, the bird's nest that I missed. Um, and we have... We have gone through all of the POIs around us here, so we might want to get back to our base. Uh, actually, I want to try and maybe get. Where's my base? Where's my base? Okay, I want to try and get at least um, you know something so my stuff isn't just laying on the ground. Perfect. So it's a, a little bit protected. I normally dig down, but the zombies can dig down very easily now. Uh, so, yeah, it's. A, <laughs> I don't want to spend the nights uh, hunkered down in a hole because I can't uh, can't do anything without alerting the zombies to my presence, and then they'll dig down and kill me. Um, I would much rather be up top where I can see them um, and and react to them if I need to. Uh, if I want to and I'm feeling cocky, I can jump down and smash their faces in half. <laughs> but I can't do that from underneath. I feel uh, I feel more vulnerable now in a hole than I do, you know in a floating base on stilts. I heard you, Mr. Zombie, where are, oh, he is like way over there. Uh, but we need like all of your EXPs. We need your EXPs, dude. Oh, here, let's let him hit us. Okay, that's it. That's all you get. Alright, let's see if our max help goes up. Oh, it does. Look at that. So, see, it was some type of bug um, due to compatibility issues uh, with the new update. So, I'm glad I'm... Uh, I think it stinks that I have to start over, but at the same time, I'm glad it resolved that issue because if you can't get your max health back, I mean, you can't really do anything besides just die. <laughs> and nobody wants to play a game to just die. At least I don't. So, yes. I'm glad we, we tested the thing. I let that zombie hit me. And just so you know, he didn't didn't get the upper hand. Oh yeah, look at all the stuff and things. All the stuff and things. All the stuff and things. Alright, um, so we got some wood. What I want to do is make some wood frames. Let's maybe make like 20 or so. Just so we can um, mark this place out. So, like, right here is going to be the middle. Seriously? <laughs> so, there's four. That should make that. Um, one, two, three.
Oh, this is it. I don't like it that it's, um, the ground isn't level. That's kind of spooky. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Awesome. We're gonna have to chop this tree down. Uh, that's the, oh, no, 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 no. That's not the corner. Here we go. So this means that I'm gonna have to like go and take uh, a bunch of frames and just place them around everywhere to flatten the ground out to where it's it's supposed to be. <laughs> but that means I don't I don't have to dig. But look at this, we got tons of uh, stuff and things around here. Um, what I want to do first off is we're going to take some of our, well, all of our eggs that we can, and we're going to make uh, some bacon and eggs so that we'll have something to eat, because we're already down again. It's crazy. Uh, minute 42. And we do have some extra we can make charred meat. Yeah, but I'm hoping we'll find more eggs by the time we need that. That's the dream, man. That's the dream. So, this is what we got. Um... really like that's our food source there we do have three more glue we could make duct tape and make those armor pieces right now but I kind of want to hold off as long as I can and maybe we'll get an extra level in our crafting tier so that maybe it could have modification slots who knows what modifications we're going to find uh, that will be useful. Uh, so, yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to make some flagstone. Blocks. How many can we make? Oh yeah. That's going to be plenty. Um, so we need nine, nine pillars that are six tall, plus I want to dig down into the ground underneath it so that um, I don't have to do it later and worry about it falling, but it won't fall. Not once all the pillars are up and they're connected and they're supporting each other. Uh, so a seven times nine, that's 63. And then I would like, um, Oh wait, this isn't a nine by nine. Oh, this is what I want. It's 11 by 11 on the exterior, nine by nine on the interior. Uh, it's a little bit big, but I find if I make it smaller, I feel cramped <laughs> and I don't want that. So let's start making these. Uh, we're gonna do 63 and then there's four in between each pillar. Um, so I want the that to be 32 to, so that we can make those and then everything will be awesome. I totally floofed. I need to, I didn't make a stone I don't have a stone shovel, do I? Come on. I did not make a stone shovel. And I counted everything already. So we're at 53 and 32. Uh, 
I can't believe I didn't favor that. Okay, 53 and 32. There we go. And we still have 316, which is awesome. And uh, digging these out will give us a little bit of clay so we can uh, we can actually make some more flagstone because that's what it is, is a clay and a cobble, clay and a stone to make uh, a flagstone or cobblestone rocks. And then you take the cobblestone rocks and turn them into flagstone. But I think it takes like four Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, man, I did not want that to happen. It's just a little bit laggy uh, sometimes. And you misplace a block. Plus, we're hungry. Uh, again, I can't believe... Uh, freaking eating so much it's it's like a death trap I mean you can't if you don't do anything you won't get anything done and you'll die but if you do stuff you'll starve to death we're gonna take a big old gulp of this red tea mmm yum come on See, and now we're back up to full health, so that is awesome. Because we ate our food. I just want to get the, the base of this, uh, the stilts with the platform on the top, would be amazing. We weren't even supposed to use that tool. And it's like um, the more stamina you use, the more max stamina goes down. So at early game, you're using so much more stamina because you suck. <laughs> um, and that makes it go down really super fast. So this probably needs to be adjusted just to make, a, make it to where you can survive on your first night this is a I mean I'm not a exactly a new player but I'm not the, the best <laughs> I'm not the best I'll admit it uh, all right let's give it a second to take get our stamina back uh, but I would would definitely like to go do some more exploration if we have time, I, but I want this off. I want my stuff off the ground. I don't want a random zombie to just wander by here at once and then <laughs> all my stuff is gone. I don't want that to happen. So if a zombie wanders by on the stilts, they can just wander right through. Uh, here in the beginning, um, that's one of the good things about this is that. Uh, you know, you can work it in stages. I really need this. Um, maybe we can finish this one. Without needing to repair. Okay. And then maybe we can do this one. that will be the last one we need to dig out. I don't think it's going to make it. Nope. Just a couple more hits. Alright, let's, um, let's go ahead and build these towers up. Four, two, three, four, five, six. I want it six tall because uh, in from the ground, uh, I don't mind after. Uh, 
um, after this level, if it's uh, a little bit smaller, like I normally only build up four uh, on top of that, but it's just to, because the zombies sometimes stand on each other's sh shoulders and then they can, you know, they can hit, hit uh, stuff. So this gives them a, a little bit gives me a little bit of headroom so that I don't have to worry about them knocking everything out from under me. Because I more than likely only have um, wood frames to start out. So, uh, yeah, it, them not being able to hit them as easily uh, would be a big relief for me. Awesome. Uh, doop, doop, doo. See, and this would have taken me a long time to get that 700 um, cobblestone. We got lucky, got one drop that we could sell. It was enough, enough to buy this stuff. We're gonna have to chop these trees down too. I don't, you're in my face. Okay, did we, now we can repair that. We can go ahead and finish this guy off. I forgot, I want the ones in the middle as well, because I want all of these to be supported by more than one. So like, I want the, the one in the middle not to just be supported by two there, but also the one in the middle. I mean, it would get the support if I were to use um, the wooden frames, but this just makes me feel better. <laughs> it makes me feel better. I'm also going to need to leave one open. Mm, I already did that one, so maybe we'll do this one. Leave that one open for a, a ladder. <laughs> do that. How did we have two extra? I don't know. It's magic. <laughs> okay, so let's make some ladders. Uh, five of them. Five of them. I'll save that because I'm going to make a lot of ladders with the wooden hatch. Okay, and that way, uh, place that hatch down and I used to um, have problems getting up these things if I place them like this because this will open up towards me. Um, but I been I played around with them in the last one and and I'm able to get up and down the ladders easily uh, with it like that. So I'm going to place it like this. That way, uh, when I build up everything, this will actually open up against the wall or the pillar that's going to go up 
past that. So that'll be awesome. Um, now we need tons of wood to fill in this um, with wood frames. Um, it's going to be 16 for each section. So we're going to need like a stack. But let's go ahead and favorite that. Oh, that's going to take most of our wood to do that. And I would like to upgrade it. So we're definitely going to, we're probably going to uh, chop down those two trees. Just to get them out of the way. And then we'll have enough wood to upgrade at least one of the sections up here. Well, we probably have enough to upgrade one of the sections. So maybe we'll just go ahead and do that. And uh, might leave the chopping of the trees for something I can do in the middle of the night. Uh, that it's relatively close. That way if a zombie comes, I can... <clears throat> quickly run up my ladder <laughs> and deal with the zombie instead of um, just sitting there doing nothing. All right, uh, let's upgrade one of the sec. Let's upgrade one that doesn't have the tree in it. And that takes four each, so that's going to take us. Uh, 64, um, 64 wood to upgrade that. So we'll be co almost completely out of wood. And look at that. We're freaking hungry again. Can't do anything. I guess that um, makes that perk all that more desirable to see how much... Uh, energy is being wasted because uh, to me it's a worthless perk because eventually you will have uh, plenty of food and plenty of drink like uh, as long as we have bottles we have drink okay so actually what I should have done is I should have went ahead and made a chest oh dude Go ahead and make our chest and all right let's put like our bedroll here in the middle oh wait there is no middle <laughs> let's put it right here then and like this is where the grates are gonna sit so We'll put our campfire right here. Oh, excuse me. I got hiccups. And ooh, probably won't put a door here, but probably we'll wind up putting one there. So um, let's put our storage chest here so it doesn't block the door. And then we can go get all of our stuff and things. Uh, first, I want to empty that campfire of all the useful doodads. Another thing is that I don't want this campfire down here. Um, uh, with my pot and my grill in it. Because that is how I'm going to live. Alright. We got all the stuff. Well, some of the stuff, yeah, that's making me <laughs> very unable to move. All right. Get all the stuff and things gone. We'll, we'll get our, actually we've got, we can't make our campfire. Fire. And that'll save us a couple of spots. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this game after the changes they made uh, to the perk system. I think that's a little bit... It's, it's a little bit too much uh, for me. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It might just be I'm being <laughs> over dramatic or whatever. I don't like change. Change is bad. Ooh, get rid of this chest. Um, it is noon o'clock. Um, we can't really break that, so let's go up the stairs, or not the stairs, the ladder, and put the rest of this stuff away. We'll go ahead and put that in that way. And then we'll put that away. Um, let's go ahead and eat one of our bacon and eggs again. And drink one of our waters. There we go. And then we can finish breaking that uh breaking that chest and head out to go on an adventure. Um I don't think we have enough time to go all the way to the rally point and then come back. So let's have a look. What we might do is head to this road. Uh, it looks like there's another road here too. So maybe we'll go to the south. It looks like promising that this might be a town. Um, and this looks like a POI here. So if we go to the north, that would be good too. But I think, um, let's go to the south there and have a little look. So, to the southeast. Oh, garbage! Oh, empty! Debbie Chad! Oh. This game is so beautiful and amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the best that, uh, it, it won't make this game futile. Uh, to have the perk system so expensive to um, put points into later on. Uh, especially for the ant line. Like, you can't play the game without having recipes and everything is locked behind. I mean, well, let's see what is locked behind that last. Uh, int 10. I'm, I don't really know. So, you have to have int 10. But that doesn't look like there are recipes on that. But you get twice the effectiveness and you can heal others. Uh, but, okay, so that's a little bit cool that... But this, you're going to have to have int 10 and you get um, some really good recipes. This, you get battery banks and tier 5 schematics. I don't, I've never even seen a tier 5 schematic, so I don't know. You get chainsaw and augers. Um, I mean, if you're lucky, you can find one on a merchant or get one dropped. And that's super fantastic. But if you want to make one so that you have mods... Ant 10. <laughs> so if you if you want to do the end game, you you have to have Ant 10 to make the end game recipes. Unless you just want to get lucky, uh, maybe if yeah. we should have shot her because that's really that's really my main uh, damage is shoosting. But I'm, I really want to save my arrows at the same time. 
All right. Oh, there's farmer. Oh, there's a road with a car. He sees me, so there's no point in hiding. Let's dance, cowboy. Let's do the two step. Oh, yeah, I step forward, you step back. That's what I'm talking about. I hate those stupid branches. They always make me... Oh, did you fall down? Oh, they always make me think that there are zombies off in the distance. Like, um, especially because uh, I normally have my graphics down a little bit. So they kind of blur uh, when they're far away. And then they're just a blur and it looks like... Uh, a it could be a zombie. What? Okay. There's a rabbit. Oh my god. That's like the first animal we've seen. Do you think I can hit that? I missed. <laughs> and now he's on to us. He went and hid in the bushes. Uh, see, it's not worth it to me to go after a rabbit. For nine meat, it's not worth the problems. I know. Oh, why won't you die? I just wanted this rock. Jeez. Must you always be so protective of the rocks? Oh, nine bullets! Sweet! There is a POI there, but... Oh, I missed. Um... There is a POI over there. There's another one. I don't see a town. Oh wait, there's a car. There's there's another road over there. So, um, where's good? There's a biker dude and a gore block. Uh, we definitely need the bones. out of stamina. Would you look at that? <gasps> a piggy! I see it over there. Alright, let me finish you up because <laughs> me and what you don't dare touch me, you little Ugh. My record was ruined. Alright, let's hope that my points will kill him. It didn't. Oh, there we go. Sweet, sweet meat. Sweet, sweet meat. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Awesome. We have dinner. Mr. Forehead. <laughs> no, man, he did not like the oh, There we go. We got a level. We got a skill point. Um, I'm thinking I might go ahead and put it into the int. I'm so tempted to just dump more points into uh, getting better with my bow. <laughs> I think it will 
will, will make going into the POIs that much better, that much easier. Oh, let's get this car. That one over there looks like it's just pieces. I'm going to scrap these because I probably won't use them and need the metal. Oh, a glue! Yes, I love the garbage. Alright, these look like some rundown shacks, so it's just my speed. Probably be just some food, which will be good. got over here on the outside. Shh. There might be a dog or something out here. I hear footsteps. So this is the woodshed. All right, let's go get let's go get this guy. They got a propane tank back there. That's not safe. This thing explodes. The whole house is going. Okay, got him. I got him. Oh, give me the bird's nest. Oh, yes. Some yummy eggs. Alright, it looks like... We got a little bit of traps. The door is locked. Let's go ahead and repair this thing up. Try to be super sneaky quiet. Shh. I know if I bust that door down, it'll make a lot of noise. Uh huh, and there's uh, somebody sleeping right there. I wonder if I can get right there on the chin. Is that the chin? <laughs> oh no, it got her in the butt. Serious? I don't think so. You're not going up there to wake your friends up. Be silly. There's a trash can right there. Sweet. Let's get everything. Looks like there's an upstairs right there above us. So we need to be. Oh, there's a dude. Right in the ear, bud. wake up. <laughs> I think I'll hold off until I clear the house. I hear a piggy. be able to hit him. I always hit the door even though it's clear. I have a clear path. Oh, yes. Whoa!
empty. M T. I hear you, piggy. I'm coming for you. Oh, this one's unlocked too. Oh, he's got all the goods. <coughs> Freaking awesome loot right there. Destroyed workbench. Ooh, ammo. Nine shotgun shells, baby. Shh. Nobody's in here. <laughs> Nobody but us chickens. But you're a chicken hunter. Stay out. Pushed E. It didn't do anything. I hear you, piggy. Coming for you. Piggy. The other white meat. Gun store. Oh! Not one, but two. Because this is really good. Because, um... You know, I don't have any repair kits to repair these, and we're really thirsty. Let's go ahead and drink another one, since we have um, lucked out and got coolers. What? This was an awesome house. Awesome. So uh, let's look over this again where there, there were no pictures or anything in this room. Uh, oh, garbage. Duct tape? No. Sadness. Nothing in here, okay. Oh, I'm coming for you, Peggy. Come on to get the pig, pig. Um, didn't we? We didn't actually go through all the rooms down here. This door is locked. Does it go anywhere? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, we didn't have to actually... another water cooler there's so many water coolers that is awesome I love it that I can walk over these oh look a little coat rack and oh we're gonna have clothes what um we already made a bandana uh it does yeah I'm just gonna scrap it Oh, that was all one locker. Okay. All right, nothing unusual in here. We got the kitchen. Look at that. There's a water bottle up there. With nothing serious. Why would you even bother putting it? How can a water bottle be a water bottle without water in it? Come on, cooler. Nothing. Oh. 
Well, I guess we already got a whole bunch of water. We did get a little bit of food. We didn't get sick. Hooray. Um, so I'm like torn where to put my points. Do I go for the end? Um, and be able to make the stuff and things? Um, or do I go for, oh, a wrench. <laughs> Woot! Um, so that was awesome. Do I go for the it to make it or uh, the pack mule to carry it? Ah! Medicine cabinet. Come on. Oh, some steroids. Oh, this place was just super duper fantastic. Didn't I break you? I guess not. Oh, I'm loving the jars because we could definitely use that. I think that's it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful outside. Give me that golden rod. And there's some garbage. Let's check the front porch and make sure there's no loot container. Oh, look, they got more wood up there. Uh, let's go ahead and break those down. Probably wind up selling it. And what happened to the piggy? I kept hearing pig sounds. Zombie, did you eat my pig? I'm going to be very upset with you. Maybe it's on the other side of the house. I'm so slow. I tell you what, I am going to put the pack wheel. Oh, because right now I'm so slow. We can put the one point in there for without having to put points into strength. Um, I definitely want to have a look around to see if we can find that piggy. We heard him snorting in the house. So he's got to be around here somewhere, right? You zombies scared my piggy off. That was my supper. You know what happens when a survivor goes hungry? They get angry. Get very, very grumpy. Oh, you want a one? Oh, there's my piggy. Oh, you are so lucky. You told me where my piggy was. All right. Piggy. Piggy, don't go. I love you, piggy. I want you in my belly. In my belly. Nummy to the tummy. There we go. Excellent. So we got a two, two pigs on the way to this place. That was an awesome little uh, POI. Wasn't too um, complicated. Oh, do we got stuff under the porch? Does it look like there's anything on the porch? There's another Zombro. Let's go ahead and repair this up. See, I would have liked the um, the ant so we could make better tools, but that doesn't do anything but get you modification slots and we don't really have access to a lot of those modifications early game anyway and I think being able to hold the more stuff and go faster will be more valuable um let's see if we can go ahead and go in this other POI and uh 
get this stuff in there. How are we on arrows? We still got 87. We got gobs. Um, I wish this place had a pot so I could make that goldenrod tea. I hate having one slot used up for one yellow flower. Oh, pardon me. Oh, my nose is running. So it's all better. Okay, I guess, um... What is that? Is that like... I hear you. I definitely hear something walking. Uh-huh. You can't escape your destiny. Your destiny is to die by my hand. Stinking zomberts. This looks like to be an even smaller POI. Look, it's a toilet. No toilet water. Oh, a grill. Yes. They got, I'm going to eat one of those. Oh, I guess you have minus five water, but we have a lot of water on us. It's only 10 max stamina, but it gives us a little bit of health back. Oh. Let's use that. We got damaged a little, looks like. There we go. Yes. And then we'll use that. Yes, yes, and it's locked. Oh, uh, let's have a look around. I heard a zombie. Look, there's something under there. Oh. We'll see if we can get to it from the inside of the house, but we'll have to remember that that's, that's there. Trash can. A little bit of plastic. Oh, Mr. Forehead. Mr. Forehead, come and get me your XP. <coughs> Mr. Forehead should really be worth more experience too, because he's a lot more difficult because of the way he's got his forehead out. It's very intimidating, <laughs> so it should be worth more experience, right? We can hear the fire crackling in there. Get some free chairs. I'll go ahead and pound through the wooden doors. Wow, we ate that charred meat and it still didn't fill us up. This is like a, some sort of lumberjack place. Hello? A table saw. There could be some, if this is really small. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ding, level five. <laughs> Sweet. And there's a downstairs. <laughs> there's a table saw and a downstairs. And a pot. I just stole your pot? Oh! Tell me how that did not kill her.
cheerleader. Oh, there's an upstairs. I just saw the ladder. Whoa! We fell down. Candy canes! From Santa. Let's get... Oh. It's on. over the trash. Don't touch me. Oh my god, stamina. Okay, let's let him come to us. Recuperate a little bit of stamina. Okay, we're good on stamina now. I think that's it. Um, let's go ahead and repair. Use a bandage. Let's um, let's plug this hole up. what's up here oh ho, 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 look at that look at that no wonder they were guarding this stuff up here could have been guarding it too I think uh, the house is all clear <sighs> two shamley boxes let's check Oh, I think I went down because of the corner. Some iron gloves. We're gonna... We're probably gonna sell that. Look, 133. But let's, um... Let's... Yep. Yeah, let's sell it. And... Loot the ammo. Oh, crossbow bolts. What are these? A candy cane club? Wow. What do you repair it with? Maybe just wood? We can we have the ability to repair it, but oh, it took uh, iron. So there we go. Yeah, that's sixteen damage. Thirty-two, and this is twenty-one forty-three. So yeah, much better. What about the? Oh, this is a shiv, and we can repair it. I wonder if it takes scrap metal too. Oh no, well, it didn't. But we'll definitely use that. We can't do anything but drop that. Awesome. Oh, we're not gonna be able to open that safe. I refuse to open a safe without a pick. 
a good iron pick. Oh, I'm tempted to to just get a pot. Uh, if I get food poisoning, I'll just make some golden rock tea real quick. We definitely could use the, the extra health and the max stamina. So let's eat the second one too. Scrap them puppies up. Oh yeah. Got a belly full. We still, oh, we still have downstairs to go check out. Food to take home with us. Awesome. That is amazing. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave that gun safe alone. Let's go check out the downstairs because it's time to start heading home. Alright, there's nobody else here. Oh, did we ever... Check. We didn't check the toilet. Oh, pistol! Oh, my pistol! Are you hiding something? No. Oh, let's get rid of the glass. We got our pockets. Oh, we didn't even loot the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna scrap it just for the room. Ah, oh, coffee seed! Sweet! Oh, we got a cooler. A bottle. I'll take it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but uh, we are so full. We should just take our stuff and go home. But we got more to look at. Oh, that's a little bug again. Shh. Oh, dude. completely open. I never saw this. I thought it... Holy cow! Look at that! You can just come right down in here. Oh, there's a water bottle. <gasps> I love it. Oh, another one. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, it's third one down here. Totally worth it. Okay, that one didn't have anything in it, but awesome. Okay, let's go. We we got what we came for. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go to the northwest to get home. I think that was everything that we got some upgrades. We didn't check out. Yeah, we did check out. That's where we came in. Okay. Oh, we're going the wrong way. There we go. Oh! Awesome! So, we had a good adventure. We're on our way back home. Hopefully, everything uh, will go smoothly. We'll go ahead and call the episode here. I'm trying to cut down on the the length of time that way I can do um, more of the grinding off camera you know the gathering of the materials because it's not very exciting or anything and I usually try to save my exploring and looting for the daytime uh, but yeah we'll go ahead I'm gonna make my way slowly back to the house and we will see you back here next time for the see to see what obstacles try to um, kill us in our future endeavors to conquer this world and <laughs> take it for our own oh the leaves on the ground sometimes I see them and I think it's a 
first pass. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.